Welcome to the RTO Superhero Podcast with me, Angela Connell Richards, where we will explore the complexities of compliance and how to ensure business success within your RTO. This podcast is for anyone within the training industry who wants to learn from my experience as an RTO consultant, RTO manager, trainer and assessor, and entrepreneur, as well as the experience of other experts in this field. Listen in and let us help you become the RTO superhero you want to be. Hello and welcome to the RTO Superhero Podcast, the show that helps you navigate the complexities of compliance and business success within your RTO. Hi, I'm Angela Connell Richards. In today's episode, we'll be covering how to recruit when there's no one to recruit, including the five steps, the benefits of hiring a virtual assistant, deciding which tasks to outsource, setting the standards, finding the right professional for the job, and onboarding your RTO VA. How to recruit when there is no one to recruit. Job vacancies are at record highs, but where are all of the candidates? It is predicted that the unemployment rate could reach 2.9% and some economists think it is possible. Unemployment is at an all-time low and job vacancies are at an all-time high. What does this mean? It means there are more people looking for staff than there are people looking for jobs. So what does this mean for your RTO? You may need to recruit elsewhere. And that's the reason why we have this webinar or this podcast, how to hire your RTO virtual assistant. When it's time to take your RTO to the next level, the natural first step is to hire a virtual assistant. A virtual assistant is a service provider who takes over some tasks or aspects of your RTO. They're virtual because they don't work in the office with you, but at some remote location where you're in touch with them through the internet. With your virtual assistant, you're ready to start growing your RTO and taking it to new places. What prompts many RTO owners to hire their first virtual assistant is the desire to get rid of simple tasks that slow down your work day. These are most often routine tasks that anyone can do. When you have to do everything yourself, these tasks bog, bog you down. If you can outsource them to a professional remotely, you'll have more time to focus on in more important things like growing your RTO. Hiring a virtual assistant can help you eliminate tasks you hate doing, although this shouldn't be the only reason why you should hire a virtual assistant. You can remove stressful tasks or ones that you're not good at. The hiring a virtual assistant doesn't just help you free up time in your schedule. It also allows you to achieve more than you could on your own. Your VA might have skills you don't have. They may be able to accomplish the tasks you delegate to them more quickly and efficiently than you can on your own. A VA can save you both time and money. Finally, hiring a virtual assistant allows your RTO to start growing. If your RTO is picking up, you may be struggling to do everything by yourself. You might find yourself at the maximum capacity and unable to earn more. You may have new needs as your RTO grows. Your VA can be the missing piece to your growth puzzle. Next steps. Are you hire, ready to hire a virtual assistant? Ask yourself, in what areas in your RTO are you struggling? Are there any tasks that you could delegate to be more productive? Is your RTO experiencing growing pains where assistant might help? Do you have the means to pay for a virtual assistant? Have you ever hired outside help? And if so, what worked and what didn't work? Dece step two, deciding which tasks to outsource. You perform a variety of tasks each day within your RTO, probably a lot more than you realise. Now is the time to think about how you fill your time so that you can make decisions about which tasks to delegate to your virtual assistant. Make a detailed list of every activity you regularly carry out. These could be daily tasks or tasks you have to deal with on a weekly or monthly basis. Start with the beginning of your day and visualise each thing that you do that's related to your RTO. 
once you have an exhaustive list, it's time to narrow down to things that you can or should delegate. Not every task is appropriate for outsourcing. You want to make sure that you're picking the right ones. There are easy tasks. Anyone can do them. They don't require your unique skill or expert knowledge. For example, your experience within your industry sector. You couldn't outsource that. You couldn't outsource your knowledge that you have within RTOs. Tasks that you don't like. You shouldn't outsource a task simply because you don't like it. But if you could get rid of things that you don't like doing, this can have significant impact on your stress levels and improve your workday. For example, you might actually hate posting your blogs. You could have a virtual assistant to take your content and put it into a blog. They can easily work out the formatting, tagging and managing images. Weak skills. If you outsource tasks you're not particularly good at, you remove a troublesome task from your day and you also might find someone who can do it better than you can yourself. For example, it could take you hours to build a simple web page that simply doesn't look right. You could hire a virtual assistant who could create great looking pages within minutes. Time drains. Any task that takes a great deal of time out of your schedule when you could be handling more high-level or people-orientated tasks is a great choice for outsourcing. You may want to perform a time audit to see where you actually spend the time in the day. The results might surprise you. Choose a routine task that's hogging up a great deal of your time and find someone else to do it for you. Keep in mind, as you narrow down your lists, Choose tasks to delegate based on the overall benefits of outsourcing them would have to your RTO. Be careful not to delegate core RTO processes or anything that requires a great deal of trust and handling of confidential information. Tasks that put your virtual assistants on the front line and in the direct contact with customers and clients. This is possible, but your VA will need to thoroughly understand your RTO and its protocols before they could do that. Processes or tasks where one small mistake could have huge repercussions. There are a variety of tasks that your VA could assist you with within your RTO, from development of training and assessment strategies to social media marketing. A mistake many entrepreneurs make, which leads to disappointment, is thinking that one person can do all of these tasks well. Think for a minute. If you're great at data entry, research and development, you might not be so good at graphic design or video editing. It's a completely different skill set. That's why it's vital to be really specific about who you want in your VA before you go anywhere near posting an ad. Once trained, you could have a VA developing your training and assessment strategies, including undertaking the tedious tasks of industry consultation collating feedback from students and industry to include within your training and assessment strategy. Another important task is collating all the evidence of qualifications and professional development from your trainers and assessors and creating a trainer's matrix. Developing your delivery and assessment plan as well as your session plans based on your training and assessment material. Your VA could also work with your trainers to refine the content within these documents. Another key drain on many RTOs is undertaking research of your industry sector and including that research within your training and assessment strategy. Wouldn't it be great if you could delegate all of your student management system tasks, having your VA set up all your online training and assessment, set up your courses and enrolling all your students? How many times have you been faced with a stack of enrolment forms that need to be entered into your student management system? Make it easy on all of your team by outsourcing this tedious task to your VA. Another task that I am sure so many RTOs would like to outsource is government funding claims, which is such a time waster but a crucial part for your RTO. So many RTOs have video content, especially since the pandemic, that is not being used 
and is not being put to good use. You could outsource this task to your VA who could edit your videos and add captions and titles as well as improve the audio and video presentation of your videos. You may even have content that could be converted to promotional videos for your RTO, which is a great asset to promote your training and your courses. How many times have you sat on a session where the presentation was, well, eh, blah, Your virtual assistant could take your existing presentations and make them more engaging and on brand for your RTO, creating a consistent brand of your RTO and all of its content. Keeping on top of your social media marketing is another time-consuming task that could easily be outsourced to your virtual assistant. They can also undertake research into your industry sector and produce engaging content based on what is happening in your industry right now. This will not only attract more students but possibly employers to your RTO. What else could your VA do to reduce your workload? Download our free RTO VA task checklist that I have within the notes for this podcast. It is a checklist of all sorts of tasks that you could outsource to a virtual assistant. Next steps. Time taken to train. It's quicker to do myself. You already know what you're doing. You've been doing it a million times before. If you hire a VA, you'll have to train them and it will take longer than doing the task yourself. This may well be true in the short term, but if you're prepared to invest time in training someone who could take care of these routine tasks and take them off your shoulders, this will save you so much more time in the long term. Horror stories from others and bad past experiences. I can't go through this again. It's possible that you've tried outsourcing to someone in the past and it went drastically wrong. Or you have RTO colleagues who have shared their VA nightmare stories with you. And maybe you or even they weren't prepared sufficiently or didn't spend enough time in the hiring process. There could be a multitude of reasons but none of them justifies giving up on the VA idea if you have a want to have a successful RTO. Step three, set the standards. It can be a challenge working with someone on the other side of the world. This is why you need standards that will make the work go more smoothly. A standard is a written description that your virtual assistant can learn from and refer to. It shows them how to do the job and what, how it's supposed to be done so that there's consistency. In addition to explaining the job step by step, it also includes best practices and tips. If you've been doing everything yourself up until now, you probably don't have any written standards. Before hiring a virtual assistant, you need to document your processes so that you can give them guidelines for their work. Go through each task you may like to outsource and document each stage. Don't leave anything out. Even if you feel that it's obvious, it might not be so obvious to your VA. As you know, working within an RTO is not the same as working in any other administration role. That is why it's very important that you are setting the standard to ensure that your VA is not only of good quality, but it also meets the requirements of the standards for registered training organisations. But the less logical, deeper rooted messages mean that you might sabotage yourself with the reluctance to release control. There's no point pretending that these messages aren't playing inside your head. You need to confront the gremlins and work with them so that your mindset is in the right place and you can truly be ready for a virtual assistant. There are a number of tools that you can use that can help you share your standards. You can use screen capture software to document a task by actually showing someone how to do it. You can use productivity tools to share the content with your VA. Create a resource centre that they can access anytime when they need it and they can refer to your standards. One of the strategies that we use at Vivacity is video training. We record the desktop as well as give the step-by-step instructions on what our team members are to do. Next steps. 
Take each task you want to delegate and write out step-by-step instructions for completing it. Decide on the best format for these standards and create content accordingly. When searching for a virtual assistant, you have to carefully vet your candidates to find the right person. And this is step four, finding the right professional for the job. After you post your ad, you'll be able to see from a huge list of candidates. You'll be checking through all of them and then contact those who meet your qualifications. There are many ways to find applicants. You could go through your RTO network, find out if there's anybody else who's hired a virtual assistant, and maybe you might find someone who has a VA who needs some more work. You could put a call out on social media, especially LinkedIn. If you have followers on social media, there might be someone who already knows your brand and champions it who'd be willing to do the work for you. You could go through VA service provider websites, look at websites where service providers bid on jobs. These sites often have detailed profiles along with ratings and comments from past clients so that you can access the applicants. You can post your job there. Online job boards, post your job on an online job board or look offline, put an ad in an industry magazine or at an industry event. A great place to find virtual assistants is at local campuses at universities. Once you start getting applicants and narrowing down your list to a few that look good, there may be many ways, there are many ways that you can qualify your applicants. Conduct interviews where you talk to the applicant and get a feel for their personality and their abilities. If applicable, ask for samples of similar work that they have completed so that you can see the type of quality that they have. Give applicants a small test that helps them assess, helps you to assess their competency. Ask candidates to refer you to current clients or clients they've worked with in the past. Contact these clients and ask about your candidate. Give your virtual assistant a time period. You can hire them for a one-off job or have a permanent full-time position as a VA. Next steps. Decide what you'll advertise in your virtual assistant job. Choose a method or several to screen candidates or qualify those candidates. Step five, onboarding your VA. When you hire a virtual assistant, you need an onboarding process to train them and bring them up to speed. This systematic approach gets them started in an organised way and prevents some of the bumps in the road that you might experience. Onboarding could take two weeks or a few months. The purpose is to get them off to a smooth start. The first step of onboarding is to share your RTO's core values so that your virtual assistant understands what your organisation is about. They need to be on the same page as you. This understanding of the core of your business influences everything your VA does and helps them see the big picture of where they fit in. The bulk of onboarding is training. Through this process, you show the virtual assistant what they need to do to accomplish the tasks you're giving them. It also means introducing them to the tools and establishing communication protocols for how to talk to you. The best way to plan your onboarding is to put yourself in your VA's shoes. You know how to do the task. How do you convey it to them? Imagine that you're the VA and all that you know is what was in the job ad. What more do they need to know about your company? Imagine that they don't know anything about the task that they're supposed to handle. How would you explain it to them? Educate them on the RTO industry. Give your virtual assistant a range of activities to learn more about the training industry, such as getting them to research your competitors and the industry sector so that they can learn more and gain a better understanding of what you do. A couple of key websites is ASQA, training.gov.au and the NCVER website. ASQA has a range of training available on the website that covers a number of compliance areas. 
Also, the user guide to the standards is another great resource for your VA to research. Once you've trained your virtual assistant, give them some tasks to get them started straight away so that they don't have to wait. Schedule regular communication sessions with them to follow up on. Give them feedback and ask them whether they have any questions or concerns. Next steps. Create an onboarding process where you explain your core processes to the virtual assistant and train them on the tasks that you are delegating. So that's it for now. Want to learn more about how you can improve your RTO? Well, we've taken all of the stress and the strain out for you. There are two paths that you could take from this point forward. Path one, you can try to navigate recruiting your own RTO VA. Hiring the first VA for your team, spending six to 12 months training your virtual assistant, providing ongoing training to ensure your VA is compliant with the standards, stumble your way through your VA, getting your VA and working effectively within your RTO, waste time and money trying to get it right and end up feeling overwhelmed and stressed. But what does this really cost to you doing it alone? Months and months of time and energy wasted, putting your RTO at risk of non-compliance, wasting time, money and tr- by trying to do it yourself. Lose focus and momentum, not working on your business, instead working in it. Path two is the Vivacity team. This is where we've done all the work for you. Get access to quality trained staff who have already been trained by the team at Vivacity Coaching and Consulting saving you time and money by outsourcing your RTO administration tasks with a team that have been trained. Feel confident that your outsourced team understands compliant without the fear of losing your newly trained virtual assistant. So you can grow and scale your RTO without the stress. Smart RTOs get the best team on their side. So I'd like to introduce to you the Vivacity team. We know how difficult it is to hire and onboard a new team member within an RTO, as it is someone unique who has the capacity to manage compliance, never mind finding someone who gets it and wants it. And once you finally complete the recruitment process, the challenges continue with starting salaries now as high as 100000 for an RTO compliance specialist and many RTOs are reporting an average turnover of staff being as low as six months. Since it is extremely hard to find staff at short notice, the other members on your team are often reaching burnout, overwhelmed with the additional tasks and are at risk of resigning themselves. Daily tasks slip up by the wayside, with many RTO owners and managers feeling like they are in a never-ending cycle of hiring and training new people and never getting on top of all of the things that need to get done within your RTO. Over the last six months, we have been training our team, the Vivacity team, on how to work in the back end of your RTO, completing tasks such as RTO compliance, student management systems, they've been trained in Accelerate and VetTrack, training and assessment strategy development, compliant marketing materials such as videos and social media ads, creating presentation designs, podcast editing, video editing, website development and maintenance, assessment tool customization and contextualization, industry consultation and research, CRICOS compliance, international student prospectus design, course flyer design, and so much more. Why would you choose Vivacity Team? Well, Firstly, they've been trained by the RTO compliance experts. Secondly, you can focus on growing and scaling your RTO whilst our team takes care of all of those tedious administration tasks. Thirdly, saving you money on training and recruitment of your RTO admin team. And finally, keep on top of all of your compliance requirements. As I've said, Our team have been trained in a range of areas already. How it works is we set up an account for you in our ticketing system where we have a company profile that has all of your company details within it. You have unlimited users who can access the ticketing portal. 
you submit requests through the online ticketing portal. Our team gets started on your tasks. You are updated on progress daily. Get the first draft completed, review, repeat, rinse and repeat. Our ticketing system has been built to make it so much easier for you to be able to submit those tasks. And we've already identified a number of tasks that our team could take over for you. Get your new virtual assistant through Vivacity Team. Have the RTO administration experts by your side helping you with growing and scaling your RTO. Our packages start at as low as $495 a month. Think about it. Even if you were to hire a part-timer in Australia, you could not pay them that little amount of money. So $495 for 40 hours a month is a lot of work that you can get done. We've helped more than 300 RTOs like yours and we've been working with them to make sure that they are compliant and reaching business success. So if you'd like to know more about the Vivacity team, go to www.vivacity.team and you can learn all about our RTO administration outsourcing services. Thanks for listening to the RTO Superhero Podcast. Next week, I'll be covering a breakdown of the draft standards and as well as the important feedback that we need to provide to the government on the impact of these draft standards. I know it's going to be a big one and I will be covering a lot of different sides of the draft standards. So thank you very much for listening. I look forward to being in your head soon. Thank you for joining us at the RTO Superhero Podcast with me, Angela Connell richards Please take a moment to rate and review the podcast on your preferred podcast app. Each rating and review helps me fulfil my goal of helping training organisations around Australia to learn and grow in compliance and business success.